Well, I've escaped the haters. For now. What's the next episode? Saddle Row and Wreck. Who's the main character? Oh god, this isn't good. Well, let's see what this episode is made of. Come at me! So, it begins with the present time, and Rarity is going to read a review about her latest boutique. Wait, are they going to read my review? Oh god, why did I submit it to the press? So, we get a flashback to when they were speaking with the reviewer. Okay, that's fine. But then we get another flashback! That's when I got confused with this. Rarity and her friends try to help her out by setting up her new boutique, which looks like a load of shit right now. Then we meet the landlord, who has a Russian accent. Grand. Doesn't seem easy at first. And that's because it isn't. Raccoons are living in the back room, and Vinyl apparently has a penthouse upstairs, which is making a lot of noise. There are flashback breaks in between, and the Russian daughter has terrible ideas. Like spoon furniture, or stuff like that, I don't know. Everything looks like it'll fail, so Rarity's friends try to take on different tasks. Pinkie Pie meets her with her shoulder angels, who are confused, I think. The angel wants, wants Pinkie to have fun, and so is the devil at first. But then the devil corrects Pinkie by saying that would she ever say such a thing, which is leading to what the angel said, which was to have fun. So is the angel good and the devil... Good, or what? what's going on with the Shoulder Angels? Also, Shoulder Angels, when did that come in? Twilight has fun reorganizing all of Rarity's sh**. And Red Ash meets with three opponents to see who is the most qualified, while Applejack stalls the Ruskies, I guess. Heh, <laughs> I just thought of how, I just thought of something. How a metaphor for Applejack and the Landlord is like, the United States versus Russia. Heh. <laughs> Fluttershy tries to evict the raccoons, but they get pissed off. All hell is coming. Rarity gets locked in the design window, and the friends do their best to solve the problems. AJ allows the spoons later, Fluttershy lets the raccoons stay, but later uses them as slaves, Dash holds a race for the job, Twilight continues to reorganize, and Pinkie pretty much just hires Vinyl. In the end, of course, they pull it off, because, you know, the main characters can't have a failure at any point. No, that's heinous. Works out for the best, no lesson learned at all, and this episode was a complete mind. Seriously, I understand little about the episode. The double flashback threw me off, and, and Rarity friends did the best they could. But how did all the problems come about in the first place? Oh yeah, her friends f***ed up! Rainbow Dash must be recovering from her head injury because she hasn't realized the reporter w was writing everything down as she's talking. Hello, that's his freaking job. Why would he not write it down? The subplot with Rainbow Dash trying to find a point to help out ends up becoming pointless because she just hires all three of them. Oh yeah, where was Starlight Glimmer? You know, the official m new 7th cast member. I thought she was an important character. Why isn't she here? The second Pinkie Pie in the diner threw me off because I thought they all died in too many Pinkie Pies. Time for fan fiction, I guess? Reading the episode during my first, second, and third watch of the episode was hard. I could not think of one. When I was writing the notes, it literally came out as a question mark at first, but now it's clear. The rating for this episode is a solid 1 out of 10. When Twilight bragged about her organization skills, it didn't sound like Twilight. It sounded more like Tara Strong talking into a microphone, not acting as a character. Also, Pinky shoves the bill onto someone else. Gee, that's a great quality, Hasbro. I like little about this episode. Do you want to know the best things about this episode? All the jokes I can make about it. Seriously, this episode was complete trash. If this was the end to Rarity's arc, it was just like Newbie Dash. A complete failure. If any large brony reviewer is hearing me in this rant right now, you know what? Screw it. Come at me. All of you praise everything that they almost make except for some episodes once or twice. But I am seem to be one of the only people who talks badly about them. So you know what? I will make out my I will make myself as a villain if I have to. Come at me. This has been Wolf vs. Ponies. Perhaps it was the haste of a man who longed to take his revenge like his vodka in one dreadful swallow. But I see now I must take my time. I will plant seeds of revenge and let them grow. Then I'll harvest the vegetables of revenge. And from those vegetables, I will plant more seeds. And then you'll get your revenge? No, oh, From the third, or perhaps fourth harvest of revenge plants, 
I will make a vegetable stew and season it perfectly with revenge! No! You listen to me! I want that story on my desk or you're fired! Who the hell are you? I, I was wondering if you got a job opening for a... Job? How dare you come in here and ask me for a job? I'm the editor-in-chief! I know the mayor of Venus! Hamburgers can see the future! Rosie, Sorry about this. We share the building with a mental hospital.